terms. Mm. I mean, in WWE, you've worked with Beth Phoenix, ODB, Alicia Fox, the Bella Twins, Natalia, Eve Torres, between Ohio Valley Wrestling and WWE and ECW, WWE's version of it. You've been able to work some tremendous talent. What can you say about the talent that you did get to work while you were in those federations? Amazing. I mean, all of those names that you just named, you know, were, were unbelievable creatives and workers. And, you know, I had this really great view with ODB. We had so much fun together, you know, playing off of our characters. And then Beth Phoenix, obviously, to have the honor to, to work with her. And um, just everybody that you just named was, was incredible, you know. And Katarina, Ring of Honor, Impact Wrestling, Shimmer, Shine, which is in Florida. And you also obviously have WWE and NXT. Are these of any interest for you looking forward? Yeah, I mean, you know, I like I said, I've rekindled my passion a little bit. And um, I'm just kind of writing it out and just seeing where it takes me at the moment. Well, at the moment now, there is a movie, Killing Joan, that will be coming out, available on digital April 3rd and DVD July 10th, and you play a villainous role in this movie, and everyone should check this out. Really interesting to see your work and how you've improved over the years as well, which is amazing. What can you tell us about some of your social media and also about this YouTube channel that I find fascinating? That you do. I do really do. I, I think it gives a, a very insight. I was very interested in a segment you did on immigration. And I also wanted to ask you a follow up to that. But just tell us about your social media and about your YouTube channel. Okay. Um, right. So my uh, Twitter and Instagram is both uh, Katarina's Infamy, my handle. And then YouTube is also youtube.com forward slash Katarina's Infamy. Now, your YouTube channel, I was curious because you did do something on immigration and you've done some other subjects. And obviously a big thing these days, especially down here, I'm in South Florida, has been the Douglas High School shooting. And I just right. wanted to ask you about your thoughts about just everything that's been going on, especially these shootings in schools. Yeah. Well, you know, it's funny that you say that because I was, I was going to make a video about that and I started writing it out, but I've just... Um, been busy with a bunch of other things and I didn't get to it um, but yeah I mean I I come from a country where there are no guns you know so I feel like it's poss probably a good idea not to have so many <laughs> and I think uh, what I specifically was going to talk about actually was arming the teachers which I thought was the, like a hideous idea you know I don't think the 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 answer is to make, to bring more weapons into the school. But I know there's also this argument about, you know, is it a mental health issue? Is it gun control issue? And, you know, and of course it's both. You know, of course it's somebody who's, you know, gone off the rails and snapped and he's, and he's done this thing. But I think also that if guns weren't so easily accessible, especially something like, you know, this AR-15 that everybody seems to love so much, then perhaps, because it's not, a, it's not something that you would necessarily plan out, you know, quite so extensively that you would go to the trouble of going out and getting an illegal gun and stuff like that. I mean, if they weren't allowed. But if you have seven of them lying around in your house and you're already a little bit crazy and then one day you really snap and you go, OK, I'm going to do this thing. And you've been thinking about it for a while. You know, you already have, you know, these weapons lying around in your bedroom. You might pick one up and go out and do something like that. You know what I mean? I think that's very well said, and I'm glad you gave your thoughts on this, and I hope you're able to share that on your YouTube channel as well. And I think also coming from another country and being able to share because you did live outside the United States yeah. can, can give another insight in this whole dilemma, this whole issue that we're going through here these days. So yeah. I do hope you have time and you'll be able to do that. And I want to thank you for taking the time to do this as well, and I I. Some things you read on the internet, you don't know if they're true, and depending where you look and, and all, but I had to ask, I'll leave you with this one. Lex Luthor? <laughs> well, only specifically Lex Luthor from Smallville. Ah, so Smallville's Lex Luthor. 
because I was going to bring up old school Gene Hackman from the old Superman movies uh, no, as Lex Luthor. Specifically that character because I love how, because obviously in Smallville he's good, but he's got this evil inside of him and it's growing and it's coming out more and more. And I just, I find that so fascinating, this, you know, this conflict of good and evil, but, it, you know, within one person, especially if he's, pretend, if he's not pretending, if he's trying so hard to do the right thing all the time, but there's this little evil burning inside of him. And when will it, when will the spark grow? And when will the, you know, when will it get bigger? And when will he turn and do something and become bad? You know, that I find fascinating. You know, it's like a line from American Psycho where it goes, is evil something you are or is evil something you do? You know, if you have evil thoughts, does that make you evil or is it only once you act on them? And, yeah, that, I find that incredibly fascinating and that's hence my obsession with ex from Smallville specifically. Look at you doing the psychoanalysis and all. How about that? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, Katerina. All right, listen, thank you so much for taking the time. All the best. Everybody killing Joan. You're going to have to check it out and all and see her. And who knows, maybe you'll see her wrestling in your town at an indie show or somewhere down the road on TV. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much for having me. It was fun.